and overburnt, so you're really trying to be that pick-me-up that everybody wants you to be, but you also can't because you're burnt yourself. Ooh, I just came up with some insightfulness. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Indie Nook and it's your favorite ghost host here, Jesse Dusk with I Am Not Okay With This. So this is a popular series right now on Netflix and y'all should know that it came from a graphic novel. Right off the bat, before I review it, I will say significant amount of differences between the show and the book. So we follow Sydney Novak who is this very, you know, grumpy teenager as we all are in high school who just feels like she doesn't fit in, she feels weird, she feels very basic, and she has her best friend Dina, and what she has not confessed to Dina yet that she is in love with her. Um, I'll go ahead and do kind of like a little, a minor little compare and contrast because there are a lot of differences like between the show and the book, but I don't want to go through like every single one because then we'll just kind of be here forever. In the book, she's very open about being bisexual. Um, in the actual TV show itself, it seems like they're leaning more towards she's a lesbian, which I think they did that because they wanted to create an even more internal struggle with herself. You know, coming of age, trying to figure out your sexuality, while at the same time trying to deal with the fact that she has mind powers. Now, if again, if you've watched the show, or she has like the ability to like break down trees, in the book, they're just more minor, subtle mind power. She has the ability to give people a headache and not a nosebleed. Um, like, she doesn't try to build up her powers necessarily. But yeah, she's trying to go through life and kind of figure this out while at the same time still going through regular puberty, which is just very intensely stressful. I have to tell you, I felt this kid's amount of anxiety. So yeah, there's a lot more internal dialogue. She is writing in a diary that is like how they. Uh, write it in this where she's internally talking to herself via writing in her diary. I highly recommend if you have not seen the show come and read the book first as always. It's a lot better in my opinion. But let's just face it, that's usually how it always ends up being when it comes to like books and graphic novels that get turned into movies. Um, the cool thing about the TV show, her little brother has a hedgehog, which we all know I recently got and so for sex occasion I wore my hedgehog shirt. Hedgehogs, which are just amazing anxious little creatures. God, I just relate with them. You just get anxiety and then suddenly you're like prickly! But yeah, for the book itself, um, I do not recommend super young readers and it does have some adult context, some sexuality, um, some drug use. So like probably like 16, 17 on up. But it is so good. It is $16.99 and it's my fanographic books as always. We keep it pretty readily available somewhere around here and I'm just floating it around at this point because I don't know where it is in here. It's in here somewhere. But yeah, if you're looking for a copy, come and ask us for it and we'll point it out to you and that has been I am not okay with this. And I will talk to you all next week. Well, I am. Don't get fat, kids. <laughs> what? Do you. Do you. I can't.